Late night concert is more than a fun event. It also raises awareness for a disease commonly overlooked. NBC 15's Marcus Arswald joins us live in the studio. Marcus, concert organizers want to help people understand epilepsy. Yeah, the event's called Joey's Song, and it's in honor of four-year-old pictured behind me who died due to his epilepsy. His dad founded the organization and event to honor his son and help others feel comfortable talking about the disease. Mike Gamal's son, Joey, lost his battle with a severe form of epilepsy in 2010. Since then, Gamal's brought attention to the disease through concerts called Joey's Song. This would be the kind of event he could relate to because music was kind of his connective tissue to the world. Epilepsy left Joey nonverbal, but he still enjoyed music. The reason we call it Joey's Song is because of Elmo's song, da -da -da -da, and Joey's song. Gamal took something his son loved and turned it into something that could save others and raise awareness for people attending the concert. They're going to leave here understanding what epilepsy does and why we raise money for epilepsy research. Their ticket and auction sales fund Cure Epilepsy, a Chicago-based organization that funds studies to help find a cure. There's a lot of things we still don't understand about the brain, so it's critical to fund um, scientists and researchers at academic institutions to understand what's going on so that we can work towards cures. Cure Epilepsy CEO Beth Dean says 3.4 million Americans live with epilepsy, but a lot of people are afraid to talk about it. I think if people understood it and got more comfortable with it, they, they wouldn't be scared of it and people wouldn't hide the fact that they have epilepsy. Joey's song overall, overall goal is to raise $1 million in the fight against epilepsy. Live in the studio, Marcus Arsvold, NBC 15 News.